everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. So in today's video, we have a haul, a home decor haul. It's not a big haul, but it's some items that I purchased last year and I can't keep putting off showing them with you because if it's something you're interested in, now is the time to get out and uh, find those items in home goods. And actually, the items that I'm sharing today are all from Home Goods. I may discuss or bring up a few items that I may have seen at Target, but for now, we just have Home Goods. And I also have my little journal because I have wrote down some uh, goals or plans for 2023. I usually do that every year, and when I do it, I am successful in getting those things done. If I work on the whim, a lot of times I make purchases and buy things that I don't need. So you may not see a whole lot of hauls unless it's specific to my goal, which means if I'm working on this room, I may say, okay, I need some bookshelf items. And in that case, I may go out and purchase some things. But for the most part, I am going to do more room planning for 2023, as well as um, get a lot of projects done that I just let, just let go, just forgot about, or it wasn't a, a priority. So this year, everything that I want to do is going to be prioritized. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and do this haul for the items I made or purchased last year. So the first thing, and then we'll go over, we're going to go over my goals and what to expect from me in the year of 2023 on our YouTube channel. So the first thing I'm going to share are these little chick trees. Now I saw these, I saw about two and I saw them at Home Goods before christmas and i was hoping that they would go on sale and they were actually marked down to let's see the prices on them i forgot okay so they were originally 49 dollars 49.99 and they marked them down to 39 dollars now with the day after christmas because this was the only thing that i wanted from home goods for the day after christmas sale they had a lot of a lot of wreaths, a lot of garland, a lot in, in the store close to my home. So I picked up two of these that were $39, but after that $39 mark down, it was an additional 50% off. So I paid $20 each and I almost thought about taking them back because of course I put my Christmas items up in the attic and decided I didn't want to... <laughs> find a place for these but I'm going to go ahead and keep them and they do light up and you can see and they're battery operated so if you can see that these are really cool they are that real light touch and um $20 at home goods each so I got those the day after Christmas okay so the other thing I did I got now during this haul, my main goal was I was shopping for items for my office and for my entryway and bookshelf. So there were two items I thought about picking up. I was I liked them, but I wasn't in love with them. I didn't get them. I saw them at Target. I'll put a picture of them right here. They're really cute. They have a wood base. I thought about maybe spray painting it black or just changing the color to gold. And they're really cute. So I'll put a picture here. And I was going to replace them with the two that I have over here and just move those two items over into the living room area for now. But I decided to keep the ones I had. Those did come from Target as well. Other thing that I picked up from home goods now we're all home goods that was the only thing i saw at target that i absolutely loved but wasn't like i had to have it so those two ottomans i didn't get them now for the bookshelf 
I picked up these. Now, it's the new year. It's after Christmas. And a lot of times after Christmas, I have to wind down, like bring that, that um, clutter or that mindset of a lot going on back down to mainly a lot of neutral colors. So that's what I'll be doing. And this is like a really charcoal, dark grayish black. And I got these for the bookshelf. Really cute. I was hoping they would fit on the top shelf of the bookshelf, but they, one of them does and the other, other one does not. It will fit on the second shelf. There's a little lift on the top one, so it won't fit, but that's the goal to put these on the bookshelf. And the small one was $20 and this large one was $25. I absolutely love, I love them. So, and which reminds me, a lot of people or a lot of, I would say, designers, and it may be some that who have not gone to school to be a designer or a uh, decorator, but they say um, you should fill your home with things that have meaning to you, things from your travel and things like that. And I always say, buy what you like, buy what you love. You know, there's another thing they say, uh, in, buy things that tell a story. Your story could very well be these were the last two on the shelf and I had to buy them. So whatever you like, whatever you want, just if, if it's something that meets your design aesthetic and you love them, buy it. Believe me, somebody will walk over to my bookshelf and say, oh, those are so nice. Where did you get them from? I could say Africa, <laughs> but home goods, $20 and $25, and they are going on the bookshelf. No real story. It's just that I like them, I love them, and I had to have them. The other thing I picked up was this little, um, I would say, vase. It has a lid, and this one says it's globally inspired by asia so it was $16.99 i thought about putting it on the bookshelf i just love it. it's real simple i love the shape of it no story it's just that i love the shape and i love the color of course something for the bookshelf okay so while i was in home goods you know last year my colors were right after Christmas were just neutral totes and things like that. And I'm going back that way. And with going back that way, I'm going to be bringing those same colors into my sitting area with the neutral. And remember last year, I purchased this. Absolutely beautiful. I think I paid $50 for it. And I wanted some more of these um, different sizes and shapes. And all they had was this one, which was fine. I found two at Target, but I wasn't in love with the two that I found with, at Target. They were a good price and um, found this one. Love it. And it's going into my heart or sitting room. And I found this one. So the way I'm going to, I guess, showcase it in that area is going to work perfectly. So these two are the exact same color and i think they're even made by the same company i took the tag off of this one but these two are absolutely but beautiful and you can put some flowers in it if you want or you can just put a candle or let it just stay plain but for me i think i'm going to put a simple candle in the shorter one and just display this one on the coffee table with nothing so i only picked this up because I knew I needed it to go with the larger base. So $19.99 at Home Goods. So the other thing I picked up was this, just a decorative hand. I have a really bold gold one, but this one is more of a matte finish. I originally had it. I picked it up. It was $19.99. Kind of a, a little high to me. It should have been more like $10, but I understand it is a really heavy metal and I love the color. Looks like a real hand. I originally was getting it for my office as a paperweight 
and I ended up finding the orange slice that was only $6 at Target. But anyway, I picked this one up along with the hourglass that I shared in my office video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll leave the link as an iCard up top as well as in the description. This was $20 at HomeGoods. I still love it. It can work on my bookshelf or still in my office. I'm not through setting that area up, but definitely something I'll hang on to. I to show you these lamps. When I saw these lamps, I originally was like, let me see if this is something my daughter would want since I was out shopping. So I purchased two of them and I thought about putting them not in my office, but in the bedroom down the hall. I also thought about putting them in the entryway, but they're not tall enough. And y'all know I love lamps. I love different lamps. The only thing is they're really short. I knew that when I purchased them, I think they're probably like 30, 32 inches. So to me, they would work better being that they're so short or um, they would work better in maybe a bedroom, an office, or even like a side table here, but not necessarily in my entryway or uh, not necessarily in my bedroom because I need big and bold and I love the lamps I have so I'm going to keep those in there But let me show you these two lamps So here are the lamps. I have two They were only $50 at home goods and I got them Probably right before Christmas and I don't usually shop for myself right around Christmas I picked these up and I still like them. I love them. They kind of put me in a kind of remind me of the ones I had before. They're a little more modern, so they could work in my style or my aesthetic. So yeah, $50, really, really pretty. And those lamps are made by Mac Studio Home, $50 at Home Goods. And of course, I like the fact that it has a really thick lamp shade. And it's not quite white, it's more like an off-white. So, you know I'm not a fan of white shades, but I like those. They're a little more off-white than they are white. Okay, I picked up this pillow to go in here. I only purchased one because I wanted it for this chair, but good thing is they only had one. Lord knows if they had two, I would have purchased both of them. They were $20, $19.99 at Home Goods, of course. Reminder, I love feathered down pillows and I love pillows that have zippers. If they don't have the feather down in them, I'm okay with that because as long as it has a zipper, I can change it. And in this case, it's feather down and it has a zipper. So we are good for this. I may put a larger pillow insert in here just to give it a more fuller look, but I love feather down pillow inserts and I just my friend just called me she was out looking for pillows and I was like come on now you must don't watch my videos or you're not listening or you're not paying attention does that pillow have a zipper on it one of them do okay well get that one and the other one is a no because you can find some inexpensive pillows like this was twenty dollars for this pillow you can find some inexpensive pillows at your price point with the zipper and feather down. And just say if it does not have the feather down, as long as it has the zipper, we're good. So $20 at Home Goods, and she was at at home looking. And she probably will see this video because she just purchased a home and she's out shopping for the item she needs to complete her home. So I'm excited for my bestie. Hey. So uh, let's keep on with the pillows. So I also picked up two of these. Now, I know y'all probably saying you have two more sets of pillows that are made like these. And I do. I, <laughs> I do. But these have the design on the front and the back. The other ones just have it on the front and then it's a different, um, just a... Uh, a plain one on the back and that's fine too but I have always wanted these pillows and I can't believe I found them at home goods I even considered buying them off of eBay because of this not necessarily the design but I love a cut velvet do you hear me there's a keyword cut velvet pillows I love them so 
This one, I love it, beautiful. And this is probably a 22 by 22. The insert is 24, so I'm pretty sure the pillow is 22 by 22. Remember that also. Always go up two inches on your pillow insert. I told you all a long time ago about that, so I'm sure you all remember. If you're buying a 22 pillow cover, you want to go a two inch up, which would be a 24 inch pillow insert. That way you're getting a fuller pillow. Now this one is probably, this one is probably a 20 inch pillow. And I bet this insert is probably 20 inches or 18. The pillow insert is 20 inches. That's why you have so much slack in this pillow. Now, if I put a 22 or a 23 inch pillow in here, this pillow is going to be very, very full and have that luxurious look. So this one, once I get the fluffing these feathers up inside of here, this one will look a lot fuller. So keep that in mind. Remember, 20 inch pillow, 22 inch insert, 22 inch pillow, 24 inch pillow and i'm talking to you friends so if you see this video i educated you don't keep asking me that same question about these pillows friend come see this video okay so those pillows i absolutely love once again thirty dollars at home goods these are a keeper so this is back to the color that i'm going for in this space i'm just going to um, clean it up, change a few more things in here, and we are good to go. So that's that. Okay, so I think this is the last thing I have to share with you all. I'm going with this base. So we have these two bases. This one was $100, and this one was $50 at Home Goods. So I could not. I could not walk by them and just let them go. And I'm thinking I will put them on my entryway table. They're pretty tall, but I think it'll draw your eye up a little bit higher. So $100 and $50, so pretty. Now, my goal is to probably not put anything in this one, but probably put some faux leaves in this one, just so it can... See, once I put the gold, the florals or the greenery in, it'll probably spread out right about here. So, yeah, we got these to go in the entryway. Absolutely, absolutely love them and had to get them. I kind of second-guessed myself because of the price, but we do know it is worth $100. It is a heavy metal, and this one is worth $50, so I could not pass them by, and I got them. So, that is all of my haul. So let's put these up. And it that's fine. Let's go over some of my goals for this year. And oh, by the way, this little sweater it's really really cute i absolutely love it caught it on sale at Kohl's. they do still have it i'll leave the link in the description for anyone that that's interested it may show a little different on camera but it's like a cream mixed with silver so it looks like it has like a silver sheen on it it's so cute i've gotten so many compliments on it but this is a large i probably should have did a medium i've already lost like seven pounds y'all but anyway Let's go over some of these goals. Oh, and this little cup. I love these cups. My friend turned me on to these aluminum cups. They have them on Amazon too, but I get mine from Target and Walmart. Better price sometimes, but... And then I'm using a glass straw. But I'm just drinking some water. And this is um, eliminating those red cups that we like to have for the parties. Yeah, these silver cups, they keep the drinks colder longer so i just grabbed that and uh, they are recyclable so let's go over some of my goals for 2023 and let me grab my pen i just dropped it okay now some of these 
maybe duplicates and I grab my pen because I may want to add to it as we go along. But number one, one of my goals for 2023, any room that has gold paint, gold paint, that gold paint that, that I ha I've had since I moved here, come to think of it, yeah. So 14, 15 years ago, 14 maybe, maybe 13 years ago, I've been here 13 years. December 31st, closed on the last day of the year 13 years ago. Any room that has gold paint on the wall has to go. It has to go. I am going to paint those walls. I've already started. I purchased paint but changed my mind on the paint color. Had a design scheme, but once I got, I was like, I don't know if I want to go this light. But anyway, I purchased paint. I've already painted one of the walls upstairs, but it wasn't it wasn't that gold, it was that dark gray. I painted it shoji white. I'll show it to you in another video, but I think I'm going to change it to, to another color that I already had picked out, but once I saw the shoji white, I got there and changed my mind. So I like to stick to design plans because things like this happen. I'll go there and change my mind and then end up not liking the paint color. So every room in my house that's gold will have to change. So this little cubby hole right here that goes into our bedroom, that's changing. The hallway, the stairway upstairs is changing. My bathroom is changing. Those are the rooms that still have gold in them. They got to go. So my ceiling fixtures is number two. I'm going to replace the two or three. I actually have three boob lights still in my home. There's one in this little cubby hole that I, I forgot about. You can't see it anyway, so I'll probably put something nice to match the other two that are upstairs in that stairway or hallway going into the other rooms upstairs. Those three ceiling lights has got to go. I have not picked out anything yet, but I'll update you all when I do all of the, the selections for the ceiling lights or the boob lights in my home, okay? So we're going to do those three, and then we're going to change the one in the laundry room. That's the fourth one, but it's not a boob light. It's more of that, um, it's more of like a little round light, inexpensive. We're changing that one. And update the light fixtures and ceiling fans. So the ceiling fan in my hearth room and the ceiling fan in my, my new office, those two have to go. And then I'm going to get another light fixture for the dining room area. I'm going to probably sell that one on Facebook Marketplace. And I am going to get another one in my actually i have two light fixtures that i purchased last year i just didn't put them up i was at a place that had a sale and i bought them because it was a good price but i was not in love with them so i'm buying the stuff that i love this year so i already have that light fixture picked out and we're going to do something cool and, and great in that area so that is the dining room i'm pointing to that light will be replaced okay so i said the hallway and stairwell upstairs and uh number i got my numbers off because that's actually still two so now we're on number three the fireplace in the sitting area i'm going to update that if you don't know I, that is peel and stick towel I may still put another peel and stick towel over there, but the facing of the fireplace is so wide. I have a lot of towels, so I'm going to do some type of facial, um, um, I guess, I don't know, reconstruction with the wood that's over there. And we're just going to make that look a little more modern and not so like a big glump of towel. So we're going to change that. The laundry room, we are going into the laundry room and with doing the laundry room, I do want a new washer and dryer. My husband always say, there's nothing wrong with that washer and dryer. And it's not, <laughs> but 
part of what I want to do in the laundry room will include a new washer and dryer. So I got to work my butt off to make some coins so we can update this space, okay? So the other thing is number five, pantry. It's small, it's neat, it's, it's okay, but I want to take out that metal wire. We're going to do that, paint it, update it. I have a plan drawn out. So before we do that, you'll see it. So that's number five, the pantry. Number six, we are going back into the kitchen. I'm not going to say what we're doing, but we're going back into the kitchen. I love the, the white. I love that. I love my handles. We still have not been in there since I painted it, I think. So I love the handles. We're going to, I've been organized, and so I just have to share that with you all. But we're going back into the kitchen. There's a couple things that I want to do in there. So I'm going to write them on here. I'm just not going to share them with you all. Because when I share exactly what I'm doing, somebody always beats me to getting it done. But this year, I'm going to do better, okay? So I'm writing down what I'm doing in there. And then we'll just get, we'll get to that, okay? So the other thing is window treatment and blinds and drapes. Yes, we're going to update some of the drapes. I still love these, but I wanna do something a little different. And I want to update the blinds. And of course I gotta do the, the uh, blinds in my office. Yep, so we're doing that. So that's number seven, window treatments and blinds. I forgot I gotta renumber everything. Number eight, dining room. So, of course, that table is old. I pretty much didn't pay anything for it. And I had another table picked out. I absolutely, I have been in love with this table forever, forever, y'all. But as I thought about it, as it came time for me to order it, I looked at it and I was like, it really isn't my style. I just love it. And if I change my table, I have to change my, my chairs because they're not going to work. So those, that area is definitely on my list along with everything else I'm doing over there. So I do have a plan and goal for the dining room. So for right now, Number eight is just dining room. I will come up with my plan for that, but the table I love, it's just not going to work with the other pieces I have over there. It'll work with my side table or credenza, whatever you want to call it, but it's not going to work with my um, chairs. So we'll see. I have to sleep on that one a little bit more. And number nine, remember last year, and this is what my notes said, I mentioned that we got three estimates or three people came by to give us quotes on our bathroom. Two of the people gave us the estimate, but there was another company I really wanted to work with them, but they did not give me their estimate. And then they didn't follow up and he was, discussing how he would do it and my bathroom would be perfect he can put it on his website and i think i scared him off because i told him i have a youtube channel and if i decide to go with him i'll probably film it along the way and after that i didn't it was like i was chasing him for the pricing so he's a no-go we're going to start that process all over again because my husband said out of his own mouth that if I don't get anything done this year, he's going to get that bathroom done. So he's going to get it done, but I'm going to take that from him and I'm going to go ahead and make the steps to get it done myself, okay? I'll give him another project. But that bathroom, our, our main primary bathroom, some people are offended when I say master, but our primary bathroom will get done in 2023. I wrote it down and I prayed about it, okay? Number 10 is, 
I didn't realize I had 10 items and that's it. Okay. Number 10 is our garage. We usually revisit, reorganize our garage every spring. The last two springs we did not. And it's, it wasn't that it was bad. It's just that the stuff that we normally take out to the shed or throw away, it was accumulating. So I had towel out there. My husband had got from um, one of his fireman buddies, um, had some extra towel. They, he got it. I was like, I do not like any of it except one style. So we kept that and he got rid of the rest of the stuff this winter, right before winter. So with all of that being said, we are going to go back in the garage and paint. So it's not bad. After we have two little shelving units on each side and then on the side we have a um, deep freezer, deep freezer, and maybe two chests out there. One that's going to Goodwill. And the other one is actually a new purchase still wrapped up that I meant to bring. I have not brought in the house. I have not brought in the house. It's been wrapped up. I have one in, I didn't bring the other. So that's all. But I want to get out there and paint and I want to do like some storage shelving units or something a little bit more, um, I guess, unique. Things like that. So that's part of what we're going to do in 2023. I hope I wasn't too long-winded because y'all know I like to talk, but it's wrote down. I'm going to transfer everything to my iPad. I'm going to add a few more things. Um, I have on here also upgrades, furniture, such as my coffee table, dining table, bedroom furniture. So those are some of the furniture pieces I want to change. I plan on probably changing this dark brown credenza in front of me. I still love my furniture, so my sofa and chairs that's in here as well as in uh, the sitting area i still love it i still love it they're great brands and i still love them so it's hard for me to let those go even with style changing i purchase items that do not go out of style i purchase items that i love that um even if it did go out of style it may be 10 to 15 years from now but hopefully i won't have it that long but that's the plan a lot of times. But anyway, y'all know, here I go rambling again. But the goal is to just do something according to what I have on my list. That's where I'm going to start. I used to do these goal planning every year and I was successful. Last year, I didn't really write anything down. I knew some of the things we wanted to do, such as the door. We did this floor uh, it originally was going to be part of 2022, but he was able to get in and get it done uh, in 2000, December 2021, if y'all remember. So this year, I'm going to be doing projects, a lot of projects, not a lot of little stuff, but a lot of projects and um, focusing on updating the house as a whole, not just decorating, but doing a little bit more on the aesthetic side. I, I don't know how to word it, but that's what we're doing 2023. We're getting things done and... All right, so another thing I plan on doing in 2023 is probably going live some, maybe once a month we'll go live because I originally was so excited when I finally became um, eligible because with YouTube, there are certain requirements in, for you to go live. And I was striving really hard to be able to go live. And once I got there, I had no intentions or no desire to go live at that point. And I think it was the shy part of me. I don't know. But anyway, y'all. That is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button. Turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next one. That was a lot.
<laughs> hey y'all i forgot to tell y'all hey i forgot to tell y'all i plan on decluttering too i didn't have that on my list i had it somewhere on the list but it's i started last year so we're doing good i've been decluttering i got everything set to the side was i'm not keeping and i got stuff set to the side that i am keeping so we are decluttering we are making room for more stuff but not more stuff in 2023 we're going to save that space for 2024. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.